Welcome to Picture Healer Channel. This is Shi Tian. Today we want to continue the 30 personality types based on the Chinese fortune telling or the Na Yin Fai Element theory. And it's basically the Fai Element, but each Fai Element also divided into six types. So there are totally 30 types. And this is based on your birth year. And like the most Chinese metaphysics, the starting of the year is the Li Chun or the starting of the spring. It's around February 5th or February 4th on the Western calendar. Last time we talked about the first 12 types. Today I will start with number 13. The number 13 is called the Thundering Fire. And you can see it belongs to the fire element. That's for the birth year of 1948, 1949, 2008, and 2009. And this is also related to your 12 animal signs. Because the Chinese animal sign is also based on the earthly branches. So the first one is the Wu Zi year. The Zi is related to the year of the rat. And the Ji Chou year, the Chou is related to the year of the ox. So if this is your birth year, your personality is like the thunder in the sky or the earthquake. And you have a very strong presence and you can make big impression with your talent and intelligence. And the advice for you is to work with other people for a long lasting result and to compensate your lack of patience. Every personality has strong point and weak point, and we try to compensate our weakness to achieve the best success in life. So that's for the number 13, the thundering fire. The number 14 is the evergreen tree. That's for the tiger born in 1950, 2010, and the rabbit born in 1951 and 2011. The evergreen tree stays green during the winter despite of the harsh weather. So that's the same with your personality. You are a fighter even when the situation is difficult. You always stay positive and you can overcome difficult situations. And you also have high standard for yourself but very generous for other people. And sometimes you feel self-conscious and lacking, so you need to work on your self-confidence. That's for the evergreen tree or the wood type of personalities. The number 15 is the long flowing water, and it's for the dragon born in 1952 and 2012 or the snake born in 1953 or 2013. And the long flowing water is the water runs endlessly. You are like the water flowing and you are not easily attached to anything or anybody. And you can change your mind easily and adapt to your environment easily. On the downside, you tend to have impractical goals and that can cause frustration. So the advice is to be more patient and grounded to compensate for your ever-changing personality. The number 16 is the gold in the sand and that's for the horse born in 1954 and 2014 or the goat born in 1955 and 2015. The gold in the sand is still in a raw form, so your personality is like the raw gold. You have great potential to be the shiny gold, but you need to go through different experiences and obstacles first to learn your lessons and grow into the real gold. And to increase your opportunities for success, you should pay attention to details and follow your principles. If you are doing the right thing and following the right path, 
you are going to be successful. The number seventeen is the fire on the mountain base, or the fire under the mountain. That is different from the fire on top of the mountain, in the number six personality, and this usually means the sunset reflecting on the mountain, or the lava below the mountain. It might look beautiful in appearance, but it's not long lasting, and it can be empty inside. So this is a soft or weaker fire. Your personality is curious and sensitive, and it's a good idea to learn your position and know your ability and your limit, so you don't have impractical goals or expectations. The number eighteen is a tree in the land, and it's for the dog born in nineteen fifty eight or two thousand eighteen. Or the pig born in nineteen fifty nine or two thousand nineteen, and the flat land is the best place to grow a strong tree. So that means the environment is in your favor. If this is your birth year, you have the talent and wisdom to be successful, and your environment is supportive of your development. So you can cultivate your ability. Step by step, and prepare for the right opportunity to show your talent and wisdom and achieve your goals. Number nineteen is the soil on the wall, and it's for the rat born in nineteen sixty and twenty twenty, or the ox born in nineteen sixty one and twenty twenty one. And the soil on the wall can hold bricks together and stabilize the house. So it's very practical and useful soil. And this is part of the earth element. If this is your birth year, you always work hard and stay responsible in the background without showing off. So this is the positive character. And it can also be hard for other people to understand you because you are not expressing yourself a lot. So you can work on your communication skills. And it's also important to select good friends because you are easily influenced by your friends. So pay attention to your friends and keep away from any negative people. The number twenty is the golden foil. This is a metal type in the five elements, and it's for the tiger born in 1962 and 2022, or the rabbit born in 1963 and 2023. And the golden foil is usually used to cover a Buddha statue or decorate some religious items. So it's precious and practical. If this is your birth year, you are flexible and adaptable in many different environments, and you don't have strong opinions and tend to just follow other people. And you can increase your chance of fame and success with a lot of training and experience to develop yourself. The number twenty-one is a shiny fire. It's for the dragon born in nineteen sixty four, two thousand twenty four, or the snake born in nineteen sixty five or two thousand twenty five, and the shiny fire can mean sunlight or the moonlight, or a lamp with shiny light, and you have a very bright and sunny character. You are very kind, very giving, and responsible. And you like to work hard and help other people, even if that means sacrificing yourself. So that's the special characters for the shiny fire type. The number twenty-two is the water from river in the sky, and that's for the horse born in nineteen sixty-six and two thousand twenty-six, or the goat born in nineteen sixty-seven and two thousand twenty-seven. And the water from the sky river means the raining water, and it belongs to the water element. 
Your personality is very generous and kind, and always treat everybody fairly. But you tend to be impatient and rushing, so focusing on hardworking and being kind and generous to bring you success. The next one is number twenty-three, the fully matured soil. It's for the monkey born in nineteen sixty-eight. Two thousand twenty-eight, or for the rooster born in nineteen sixty-nine and two thousand twenty-nine, just like the fully matured soil, your personality is stable, matured, and controlled, and you are very intelligent and responsible. But you can also be stubborn sometimes. So the advice is to be a little bit more aggressive. To bring you outside of your comfort zone and bring you to the next level. Next is number twenty-four, the golden jewelry, and this belongs to the metal element. And this is for the dog born in nineteen seventy and two thousand thirty, or the pig born in nineteen seventy-one. You are more of an introvert type of person and prefer to follow other people. And a nice appearance can be important to you, because the golden jewelry is mostly for beauty and fashion and for showing off. So the advice is to avoid setting limits for yourself and avoid too much comparison with others. So you can focus more on developing yourself. The number twenty-five is the mulberry tree. It includes the red ear of nineteen seventy-two and the ox ear of nineteen seventy-three. And the mulberry tree is the wood element. It's a very useful tree and practical tree, because the silk worm eats the mulberry leaves. And the tree can be a fabric dye, and also the material to build a bow. If this is your birth year, you are very passionate and helpful for the things that interest you. You can follow other people's directions if you have the same goals, and you have a very strong personality. Sometimes it can be a little bit too stubborn, so try to be more adaptable. The number twenty-six is a mountain river water, and it's a water element for the tiger born in nineteen seventy-four and the rabbit born in nineteen seventy-five. The big river is formed by hundreds of mountain creeks, so it accepts many smaller river or creeks and becomes a great river. If this is your birth year. You tend to have quick temper and less patience. You can be very adaptable, and you can absorb other people's opinions easily to create a positive result. And your luck can change greatly depending on your environment. So you can feel less control of your life. Just be more patient because your time will come. The number twenty-seven is the soil from the sand, and this belongs to the earth element. And this one is for the dragon born in nineteen seventy-six and the snake born in nineteen seventy-seven. The flowing river and the tides of the ocean can move the sand and create new lands. So that's the soil from the sand. And you accumulate a lot of wisdom and experience, even though it's hard to show in appearance. Your situation and luck can change quickly and unpredictably, and you will take a lot of hard work and experience to reach your dreams. The number twenty-eight is a fire in the sky, and that's for the horse born in nineteen seventy-eight. And the gold born in 1979. The fire in the sky can mean the sunlight or the moonlight. Your personality is very sunny and fair and generous, but you can also be passive and moody 
and stubborn sometimes, and you don't mind sacrifice a lot for your goals or for other people. And the advice here is to watch your emotional up and down cycle, and be more flexible and adaptable. The number twenty nine is the pomegranate tree, and this belongs to the wood element. And this one is for the monkeys born in nineteen twenty and nineteen eighty, or the rooster born in nineteen twenty one or nineteen eighty one. The pomegranate tree can endure difficult situation or the weather, and the heavy trimming. So this is similar to your personality. The difficult time can bring out the best of you and make you stronger. And you are a very reliable person, but tend to worry too much and insist on your opinions. Sometimes it's difficult to communicate with other people. You tend to be very strong and persistent, but you can learn to communicate and work with other people better. The last one, the number thirty, is the big ocean water, and this is for the dog born in nineteen twenty two, nineteen eighty two, and the pig born in nineteen twenty three and nineteen eighty three. The big ocean can accept hundreds of rivers. We always say that to describe a person with a very open mind, who can listen to different opinions. Big ocean water can also mean that your life can go up and down dramatically. You have great opportunity to accomplish something big, but also possibilities of big values. And you have quick temper and tend to rush before you are ready. So it takes a lot of practice, a lot of experience, and mistakes to grow and mature. So be patient, learn from your experience, and learn from other people's experience. So that's the character of the big ocean water. So that's the thirty personality types based on your birth year, according to the heavenly stems and earthly branches. I will update the slides on my website, picturehealer dot com. If you rather read on the blog. Thank you for watching today, and talk to you next week.